<laughs> so you leave in good old we teach you. Rather suddenly, you must admit. Truth time, John. Is there a problem? <laughs> so you leave in good old we teach you. Rather suddenly, you must admit. Truth time, John. Is there a problem? <laughs> so you leave in good old we teach you. Rather suddenly, you must admit. Truth time, John. Is there a problem? Oh, come on, you know we want to help. That's appreciated, but really, there's no problem. Well, now I am curious. Uh, where are you going? Give enough tenure. A decade of professorship? In line to chair the department? And you don't know where you're going? Call it cabin fever. After a while, I get itchy feet. I've done this before. Hello? Yes, Ellie. What's wrong? Sandy? Coming. Hello? Yes, Ellie. What's wrong? Sandy? Coming. Hello? Yes, Ellie. What's wrong? Sandy? Coming. Yeah. Do we have Ellie's midterm here? Oh. Yeah, sorry. I picked it up with the periodicals. Got it. No, you're worried about your parents? Don't don't worry. You passed. C plus. Take care of yourself. Good kid. What is pre med in with history? Got it. Thank you. I regret being so obvious uh, about this, John, but uh, these people are all very concerned for you. Yes, I'm cutting out paper dinosaurs. I regret being so obvious uh, about this, John, but uh, these people are all very concerned for you. Yes, I'm cutting out paper dinosaurs. I regret being so obvious uh, about this, John, but uh, these people are all very concerned for you. Yes, I'm cutting out paper dinosaurs. I really wish I'd been here from the beginning. Me too. Yeah, let, let me just say something right now. I mean, there's absolutely no way in the whole world for John to prove his story to us. It's just like there's no way for us to disprove it. No, no matter how outrageous we think it is, no matter how highly trained some of us think we are, there's absolutely no way to disprove it. Our friend is either a caveman, a liar, or a nut. So while we're thinking about that, why don't we just go with it? I mean, hell, who knows? He might jolt us into believing him. Or we might. Do you find that unusual? Very. I would stake my reputation. He is as sane as I am. Do you find that unusual? Very. I would stake my reputation. He is as sane as I am. Do you find that unusual? Very. I would stake my reputation. He is as sane as I am. So why does he persist in such a story? There must be a reason, no? Unless I imagined it all? Is that possible? I think you're as sane as he is. Oh, God. I... <laughs> no. <laughs> History hates a vacuum. Improvisation, some of it very sincere, fills the gaps. It would have been easy to falsify a past back then. History hates a vacuum. Improvisation, some of it very sincere, fills the gaps. It would have been easy to falsify a past back then. History hates a vacuum. Improvisation, some of it very sincere, fills the gaps. It would have been easy to falsify a past back then. A few words, credulity, time would do the rest. Now you're talking as if you believed. Well, look at the popular myths surrounding the Kennedy assassination in a few short years. You had a conspiracy, a mafia, CIA. That's a mystique that'll never go away. Well, it's always been a small step from a fallen leader to a god. I don't think anybody will deify Kennedy. We're more sophisticated than that. We are. We are. 